Hi, it's me again. Um, this time I have this floral, uh, well, I call it the green button journal <laughs> because it has a green button on the cover. But <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just, um, I, I didn't really have any uh, special name for it. Um, because it just, in my opinion, it, it just speaks for itself. It doesn't need really any special name or anything. It has this gorgeous uh, floral fabric on the cover. It's a hard cover journal and completely handmade. And I covered it with this fabric. And I really love the contrast between black and these other colors there. Beautiful. And then because the fabric is so lovely, I uh, didn't want to add anything, you know, here or anywhere, <laughs> except this green button that goes really well with this color here. And it closes with this uh, twine that was uh, dyed in uh, that, uh, well, liquid <laughs> that uh, comes when I, um, oh my god, uh, when I eco-dye my papers. And I don't know if uh, you can see, but it actually has some lovely, uh, um, what's the word, Variegate, variegated, uh, colors here, a little bit of green and this brownish kind of copper color. It's it, it's really beautiful, and uh, I of course kept it, and now it's in this journal, so it's it's great. Um, if you go to my uh, Etsy shop, you will see. A bit smaller tag peeking out of this pocket in the photo and that's let me just find it yeah it was this tag but as you can see one of the flowers uh, kind of broke because they are so delicate these little things let me try to show you a bit better and you know, I'm a, oops, sorry, I'm a perfectionist <laughs> in my own crazy way. So I changed the uh, the tag, and I put this one, which I mean, this was done on purpose. This didn't come off or anything. Um, but yeah, they do move a little bit, and that's not a problem. I mean, it's okay. If I didn't want them to move, I would just sew very closely, you know, uh, around the flowers, and then they would be quite stuck. But I didn't want them to move. I just don't want them to, to break off. But that's the thing when you work with so, so delicate, uh, tiny flowers. But anyway, uh, that's uh, the card. And uh, you can write on the back, of course. That's some vintage, uh, like ledger type of cardstock. I'm not sure what's the expression in English for that, but that goes there. And you know, the thing about this journal, uh, I don't know, maybe you have seen one of my previous videos. Uh, there was, a, what did I call it? I think vintage roses or something journal. Uh, this is the same type. Uh, it's when, oops, sorry, it's when uh, I have such beautiful fabric for the cover uh, that uh, kind of dictates the insides, you know, and uh, I just feel that that type of journal uh, needs to be quite simple, and uh, but even though it is simple in terms of not having 
you know, pockets or tuck spots or collages or anything inside, it is still very unique because of the papers that are used, uh, that I've used. <laughs> so, um, as in that previous uh, Vintage Roses journal or something like that, I used these uh, vintage papers that have the um, indigo prints on them. And they were done for uh, some type of, like a, to be like a pattern for some type of needlework, which I really don't know the name of uh, in English, but um, uh, definitely vintage, vintage papers. And I chose, because I have a humongous book with these papers, I chose the ones that have floral patterns on them to go, you know, with this journal. So, yeah, you have a pocket here on the front, and then you have another pocket here on the back. Here's just a simple uh, oopsie, uh, tag that Dana had sent to me. Thank you, Dana. And I just distressed the edges a little bit. And that's all about, you know, pockets. Then there is this vintage ledger. Uh, again, floral, indigo, prints, or whatever it's really called. I'm really sorry. I mean, English is not my native language. So, uh, I might um, say a wrong word <laughs> um, for something, but excuse me. Uh, these are some, yeah, tea dyed papers. This one has just a tiny bit of tea showing here. I mean, it is tea dyed. You, it's not white, but um, it doesn't have like some bold pattern or anything on it. Uh, my eco dyed papers, and these are those very thin, like uh, typewriter papers, uh, vintage. You know, more these lovely prints. And that's basically it. It's a combination of this vintage paper, ledger vintage, vintage ledger, and uh, eco dyed. Or a little bit tea dyed, but basically, you know, it's just eco dyed. Which means that every single page is unique. And as I like to say, it's treated in some way. So I'll try to go quickly through it. Oops. Yeah, and I also added these papers. Uh, they are uh, also vintage and let me, uh, give me a second, I'll show you. They come from this old thing. This is a beautiful, uh, I hope you can see the embossed areas, or debossed, I mean, it's a combination of both, I guess. There were some, like, uh, um, whatever, I don't know, <laughs> like screws, <laughs> not screws, really. Uh, but, you know, is this, oh my god, I can't fit, is this type of thing, you know, it just stays closed like that, but I took those out, and that's my uh, vintage sampler sample book, you know, and these gorgeous fabrics had uh, th those papers in between them, you know, as a protection, like this one here, but as you can see, I took out the piece of fab that piece of fabric. Okay, so there's that. That's how it looks. There's fabric and then paper and, you know, all the way. And, um, yeah, so I took some of those papers and uh, I added them here just because, you know, they look nice and they are old. They have some yellowing uh, on the edges, and but they are really, really good papers. So, yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? Just to kind of break a little bit that... Uh, 
well, it, it's not monotony, it can be monotonous because <laughs> everything is so different. And But I don't, I mean, I know, but I hope you know what I want to say. Anyway, let me, you know, stop talking. And uh, I also added these, um, as I like to call them, key dyed papers. There are some uh, key, uh, yeah, uh, like ghostly shapes and images there. And I don't know if I mentioned that before. Maybe I did. But anyway, I'll say it again then. Um, these are really, really simple to make. You just take old keys and <laughs> you layer paper and then put your keys wherever you want them, you know. And then another uh, sheet of paper. And you go like that, you know, until you run out of keys, I guess, or paper, or both. And then um, you just pour your tea, uh, hot tea, over that. You do it, of course, in some type of a tray or whatever, uh, you know, dish or <laughs> that, you know, fits uh, your papers, right? I use my baking tray. A deep one so then you pour your tea over that and what I like to do is just do this you know just kind of press it uh, a little bit until you know tea goes kind of everywhere and then just leave it and as I usually like to do uh, I do that in the evening and let it sit overnight and in the morning you just take out your your papers you dry them and I don't iron mine ever, ever, because I don't like doing that. I tried it and I didn't really like the, the, the feel of the paper and the look of it. I uh, press my papers, I put them in a pile and then I press them under uh, some huge books that I have. And I leave them there again for a day or two or a week, whatever. and they come out really nice and these are a little bit as you can see wrinkly not too much but just you know as I like <laughs> and for some reason I don't know if that's because of the chemical reaction or something but they are quite loud when they come out of I mean not my uh, for example my eco dyed papers usually come out just you know normal papers and these he died <laughs> they get loud but another good thing right so anyway let's move on tea dying eco dying and you know the usual stuff uh, that's the center of the signature it's a kind of a hidden binding method so there are no bows or anything this time in the center Although I like to, I like bows and I like, I like everything. There are more keys there. And this vintage key came out really nicely there. Haha, <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah. That's, there's some lovely leaves. And, um, yeah, more eco dyeing. There are, this turn, turned out really nice also. And uh, then I added, I think, two, yeah, of these uh, handmade book page envelopes. This one has this uh, shape, you know, on the flap, and it's coffee dyed. It's just a empty, empty envelope for you to add things to it because there are no pockets here, so. And if you see any, you know, like this marking or writing or anything on these papers, that's how they came to me, you know. I just, I like to leave them as, uh, as I found them, so. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this, this came out really good. Can you see there are lines? It's just some areas that weren't, you know, uh, tea died <laughs> so this one looks really really wonderful it doesn't have uh, keys on it but 
it looks so good, so good. And yeah, kind of the same thing. Yeah, lovely, lovely leaves here. I have to hurry. More leaves. These are walnut, I think, leaves. Another center of the signature. There is a more darker one. And, um, yeah, and the last signature has this tag that uh, has a leaf and these flowers. I don't know the name of these flowers, but they are beautiful. And again, that cardstock vintage ledger type, I don't know how to call it. Beautiful, beautiful print here. Onion skin, red onion. There's a flower pot there. <laughs> really nice. And another envelope. It's empty. And no keys here. Well, maybe a little bit. And, and, yeah, this one is really, really nice. So, yeah, that's, that's my uh, green button journal, <laughs> um, which is really, uh, as you can see, a writing journal. And I'm very, very glad with uh, how it turned out, because... As I said, it's still very uh, unique and uh, it has some lovely, lovely papers inside. I really tried to choose uh, very uh, nice and, you know, appropriate papers for it. So, yeah, you will have, of course, the measurements in my Etsy shop in the description, but... As you can see, I have big hands. <laughs> it's quite large. And I really can't remember how many pages there are, but there are quite a lot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As I said, you will have a description in, uh, in my Etsy shop. But anyway, that's Green Button Journal. And maybe, maybe, maybe... I will be able to make another video. So anyway, thank you for watching and of course see you next time. Bye bye.